been after me Y'all favorite came after me My fans up and them bands up and my fam up the mentality These niggas be faking yeah. the mentality These niggas be hating the mentality Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Bell back with another Mobile Legends video And we have a very, very interesting video here today, man So this is a very, very good video and this is going to be some gameplay using Estus. Now, Estus is an amazing. Estus is still one of the best heroes in Mobile Legends. And the crazy part about things right now and, and the way that things are in the meta right now in Mobile Legends is that you have to carry a lot. You have to carry a whole lot. And it seems like the players are getting worse and worse because nowadays, like, I, I've been here from the beginning. If you don't know, like, what the basically the way that Mobile Legends is shifting is now everyone is just watching the top players in the world. They're watching the top players, and that in itself is not a bad thing. But they watch a top player play, they instantly somehow think they're good, and they get in the game, and they're actually trash. So people aren't actually spending the time and learning how to actually play well now. They're spending more time just watching people who do play well. And that that's one of the struggles. That's one of the struggles playing Mobile Legends. So in this gameplay, it, it's just, this is a hero that you can actually carry with, and you can get up in some high ranks with this. And the reason that this hero Estes is so powerful is because he's like a, a noob stopper. He's really like a noob stopper. The thing about it is this gameplay, as you'll see, like people kind of looked to me to guide them throughout this gameplay. Because I was doing a great job healing, first off, I was staying alive, I was healing them so well, like everyone, every single chance I get, they, they knew that if they got down, they knew if their health started getting low, they knew that if they were in need, I was going to be there for them. And I think that building that type of trust with your team early on is very, very crucial and it's very valuable. And it, um... Because one of the biggest thing is egos. It's a lot of egos in Mobile Legends. Um, so when you're able to build up that trust, build up that connection with your team early on, and we weren't even talking. Like, there was no conversations being had or anything like that. I was just playing well. Like, when you play well, if you're good enough to play well, and other people are going to notice how well you're playing. And it's just like, it just starts to come with some respect. Now, as you can see early on right now, I'm jungling. This this part of the um, gameplay while I'm while I'm talking and everything, it's not that that important. This is just the part where we're get, getting fed. So I'm really just going to talk to you all during this part and let you all know, basically introducing you all to the actual parts that's the most important. But yeah, at this point in time, we're just getting fed. We're getting stronger. Um, Freya went down. She overextended. I guess she thought I could heal her or something, which I really can't at this point in time. But, um, well, when she went down, but now, I'm I, obviously, I have my ultimate. The first time when she went down, I didn't even have my ultimate. Now I got my ultimate, so we're, we're in good shape. Um, nobody's doing anything to stop it, and very few people even know how to stop Estes still. Because the sad part about the Mobile Legends community is that the majority of the, the players who were here, like, who's been here for the longest, have actually quit the game. So it's like a new generation of fan in the Mobile Legends right now, so a lot of people don't even know how to stop Estes yet. Um, so that's... I mean, hey, it is what it is. And I actually hate this point of view because, like, I, I should have said this at the beginning, but I hate this point of view because it's showing me from the enemy side, and this is actually we're in spectator mode right now. So, um, yeah, it's showing me from this weird angle. But this was a, this was a really good gameplay, man. Um, as you're, you're going to see later on in the game, we start getting together. We start really pushing as a team. And honestly, I single-handedly kept this whole team alive. I was the reason. I was a big part of the reason that we won. I actually got MVP this game and everything. Obviously, with the stats that I had, I had to get MVP. I wasn't going down. They couldn't really do anything to me. They caught me out once. And um, I think I more than likely I was supporting a teammate. That's all I do. All I do is I try to support teammates. And that's even my play style when I use damage dealers. So that's why it's just a great, great thing when I'm being able to just use a, a um, support character because I can actually support my team better, more so than when I use damage dealers and try to support my team. So I don't have to worry about going up against these two right here. If they get me low, I can just heal myself. If they get my teammate low, I can just heal my teammate. We really have nothing to worry about. And one of the hardest parts about carrying is that they, they just jump in. They just run and jump in and separate from the team. So it comes down to decisions. Is it more valuable to heal that one person or stay with the team and heal everybody? And it, it came down to a lot of decisions like that because this team was really inexperienced. But we we pulled it, we pulled it out. So um, at this point in time, we're basically just um, – we're still – now, now we getting some kills. Look at that. We stepping it up. She just took out um Zask. 
And now we're going to take this tower, I think. Um, I'm trying to, I'm getting my ability back. I'm trying to poke at Leslie as much as I possibly can. Um, I was waiting for this um, Freya to dive. I could have healed the Freya and everything. Like, it wasn't that crucial. It wasn't that, it wasn't a need for um, us to wait right there. We could have actually dove that. But, um, yeah, the, the Freya actually does dive it. And then I, I instantly go with the heals. But she retreated, but I still instantly went in with the heals. But at this point in time, we're just really getting fed. I don't, I don't, I'll resume the video back when we're um, actually into some action and once we actually start team fighting and engaging and stuff like that And before we before we skip to the next part of the video, let me show you all what my stats are looking like right now um, So right now we're zero zero and three we got three assists so far and yeah, we haven't went down So um, that that's pretty lit right now, but once we actually get into the the um points where i'm going to just keep healing Frey and stuff once we get into the point where we start pushing together more as a team i'll resume the video there but yeah hopefully you all are enjoying this you're enjoying this all right so i actually said that and right when i said that my team started calling for help they started spamming for help so i had to go into the middle and i had to help them obviously um so basically i went there i, I got i picked up my first kill right there even though i wasn't trying to like i'm just really trying to support my team trying to keep them alive at this point in time, like everyone is just splitting up. Like you see, one the Yi Sun Shin is pushing up middle lane. Um, these two are pushing up through the jungle. Freya's all the way over there still. It's like everyone just splits up all the time, and, and that's that's like a worst nightmare for a healer. You can't heal everyone in a bunch of different directions. Um, and this Farsa has been doing a great job actually all game of zoning. Farsa has been just zoning, chilling. Um, and that that was that's actually been huge. So we pushing up together. I'm pushing up with them now. I was top helping Freya. But now I'm pushing them so they can, um, look at this, they finna try, I tried to, um, heal him, but I couldn't get him with the first burst of healing, but I got him with the, um, when I made it a little bit stronger, and I, I you see me, I'm just going crazy healing him, he thought it was sweet, and that's actually how I get killed, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, it's not, it's not, it's not, we, we got him, yeah, we got him, so, um, yeah, like, just being able to keep him alive in a situation like that, that was huge. Like, if I wasn't there, they wouldn't have been able to do that. And I think that that's what's so powerful about, um, really about this, um, hero, Estes. Like, the most powerful thing about him is you can, you get opportunities that you wouldn't have otherwise. So, yeah, um, back when something's interesting, I, I'll be back, um, with the commentary. But also, before we get into it, here's the build. I, I do want to show you all this build. Oh wait, I think we're finna initiate again. Like once I got with the team, we just just kept initiating the whole time. But um, let me see, let me see. Okay, here we go. So we won zero and five right now, and thus far this is the build we're using. Um, it's a pretty lit build. This build is very very powerful on S's, and to my uh, to to what I've tested thus far, this is the best build on S's. Like I don't say that my builds are the best. I always say my builds are unstoppable, but. Um, that's because when I'm using them, I mean, anything unstoppable, I'm just playing, but uh, I'm not, <laughs> but, um, seriously, um, this is probably the best build for Estes, period, like, this is probably the best build, um, but let's move this off the screen, let's see what we're doing here, so we're healing, of course, we're healing, supporting, um, I'm pushing up, I know that they, they keep running up and stuff like this, um, I had to hit my ultimate, it looks like, because they, they got me pretty low, and I didn't want anybody to jump out of anywhere unexpected, and just get me and they're pushing that tower down there and I no one noticed and then someone started pinging or something so we started to retreat so yeah um it, it's just a lot going on it's hard and from this angle like because I'm I'm looking at it from a backwards angle it's hard for me to tell you all what exactly is going on because I have to look usually where the enemies are so it's hard for me to really commentate this but um I'm trying y'all I'm trying but yeah, we, we finna engage again. I see them about to kill him. I try to heal him as much as I can. I heal him as best as I can. Then I pop that ultimate as soon as I can. And then, yeah, I keep healing him. He keeps bagging up. Um, they got some... Oh, yeah, we got the kills. We're getting some kills. I'm keeping as many people alive as I can, bro. Like, my, like, this is still early game, so I can't heal too, too crazy. But you see the heals are very effective. I'm keeping people alive longer than they would have been. And that's securing a lot of kills. So, um, sadly, the team, like I said, this team is very inexperienced. They was not, t they wasn't targeting the, the damage dealers or at least the most dangerous people. They were just targeting, um, they were targeting random people. More so, um, I would have probably focused more so on the, the ADC. That would have been a quick kill. Then that's a, that's a lot of damage. If they would have took out Leslie, that's a quick kill, first off. Especially for all the damage dealers we have, Alucard, Freya. 
So that's that's an easy easy kill for them. And then that's that's a bunch of the other team's damage is just completely gone after you kill them. But once something interesting starts back, we'll be back. All right, so we're engaging again. Right here, we're engaging. Um, Alucard just engaged this Leslie. And like I said, it's easy kills. I just slowed Leslie so she couldn't escape. And then um, Alucard finished her off. Then Zask is trying to come this way too. Um, I'm pretty sure I have my ultimate locked away. Oh, this is when they get me. I think this is when they catch me out. Yeah, there was nothing I could do there. I was, I had my ultimate. I was ready to heal and everything. But I got froze. That, that just stopped me in my track. So, yeah, that's when we got caught out. But, um, yeah, let's actually skip to an interesting part because this is the one time we died this game. Let's look at the stats. So, the stats this time is, is 118. So, we, we already have eight assists and we have a kill already. So, yeah, let's jump into some more action. All right, y'all. So, we're we're back. Um, nothing too, too interesting that's happening right now. I think they're about to try to engage us and we're about to go crazy on them. Yeah, somebody jumped in. Alucard jumped in. I had to try to go up and save him, but they killed them too quick. But I did get to um, heal some some of my teammates um, a little bit. Then I got them heals back up. We 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 like we in a good position. They kept trying to come for me. Obviously, I'm I'm the biggest threat. I, I keep I'm keeping this team alive. I'm keeping them alive really really well. It's, it's also, but um, basically what they're doing right now is they're they're pretty much dominating us. And then I saw them. I actually saw them about to take our base over. So I had to get there. Um, we're getting to a point in the gameplay where they're about to keep us trapped in the base. Like, we, we literally just could not leave the base. We couldn't. Every time we looked up, they were there, one of our lanes was getting pushed heavily. So, I had to stay here. My team was, they didn't know what was going on. They didn't realize what was going on. So, I um I had to try to handle Lord by myself. I was calling for help. Um, And then Alucard came up. And then someone else is going to come up and help us too. But, luckily, with this Estes build, I can stay alive. I, I was popping my ultimate. I was using the hills. Like, I was... You can do so much with Estes, like even taking out Lord. Like obviously, if that Alucard wasn't there, I probably would have still lost to Lord. But I could hold Lord off long enough for somebody who actually deals some damage to get there. And I think that's the great part about um, Estes. That it's huge, huge, huge in sustainability. And that's what makes him such an amazing hero. Um, the, the sustainability that he has is unparalleled, unmatched. So yeah, we're, at this point in time, we're we're trapped in a base pretty much. Well, by the time we clear one lane, <clears throat> we have to go to the next lane. And it's just like, they're, they're constantly pushing lanes. They're doing a great job pushing lanes. And th then this Freya just keeps randomly engaging alone. So we're not really securing as many kills as we would be if we were actually working as a team. But I, I do what I can. Like, when I see them dive something stupid, I still try to go up and try to help out. Because that's what you have to do. Um, you got to realize that the team is going to make some bad decisions because they aren't the best. And... Um, as you can see, our ADC was just getting attacked by Leslie's ultimate, so I knew that I could heal that. Like there, there was no, that was no problem there too. So I knew that this um, um, Yi Sun Shin was going to be able to stay alive and stuff. So it's just really understanding what's going on. Like you really got to have high alert. You have to be on high alert. You have to be just watching everything. Like you got to know who you can save, who it would be a waste of time trying to save. Like I knew that. Um, well, first off, that was an easy decision. Yi Sun Shen wasn't taking that much damage. He was only taking a Leslie ultimate. He could have potentially died if I didn't heal him, so that was a no-brainer. I had to go for that heal. But now I'm seeing my team is about to, looks like they're about to push up or do something crazy. So I'm going to head out and, t and see what's going on. I'm going to see what they're, they're getting into. All right, look at this. They... They did that. I don't know. Alucard stopped attacking when he should have stayed attacking. I was healing them. I was healing them, and he could have killed that Zaz very, very easily because he had my heals right there. And um, as you can see, Farsa is zoning again. Then we're going to retreat. We're, we're retreating again to the base um, because, like I said, they were pushing. They're pushing from every single angle. They're pushing from every side. So we try to have a little team fight, but at some point, we got to bag up because, like, the team fight is getting too intense. Like, it's getting very, very intense. But, like, we have to retreat because they're pushing another lane. Like, they're pushing another lane. Then, after we clear up that lane, they're pushing another lane. And that's the one thing that, that's good about it, Zylong. Zylong is putting a lot of pressure on our team. And that's that's what he does. He split pushes and he puts pressure elsewhere. Um, but the reason, like, one of the reasons that I said I put Zylong on the top five worst heroes, and I, I had to go back to the base. I didn't know if anybody saw that, so I went back to the base to make sure this wasn't doing anything. Um, but the reason I put him on that list is because this this is for instance if this team didn't have me this would this would have been a hundred percent loss if this team didn't have me 
Um, and, and and if I didn't have a healer, it, it might have still been a loss. Like, um, so um, that's that's one of the things about it. Like, you have to really when there's a Zylong, that that wouldn't be working if you had a full team of people communicating. That that would that's easily stop. That that is very very easily stopped. All you gotta do is dive Zylong and kill him. Just keep him dead all the time. But like, and that's not hard to do. That's not hard to do at all. Oh yeah, we're engaging again. We're about to. Like, I, I wait until I see one person getting too low, and then that's when I hit the hills. I try to um, let the enemies use as much of their ultimates, let them use as much of their abilities as possible. Then I heal at the very last second before someone's about to die. Um, they're not, like, the thing is, they're not focusing people. They're just, um, I'm, I'm keeping this um, Yi Sun Shin alive right now, but they're not, and I, I didn't know he was going to dive in like that again. There was nothing that he could do in that situation that was a dumb time to die. So at this point, I knew all we was able to do, all I had to do was keep this um, farce alive. We had to pretty much hold it down. And then Lord was coming. And this other team was making some questionable decisions too. I don't know why they were sitting here pushing middle so hard and getting killed by a farce instead of trying to push behind Lord. That would have been a smarter decision. But I guess taking some towers, I mean, it, the, the, the decision, hey, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'd have been trying to push behind Lord if I was them. But yeah, you see them taking the middle tower. I think they're about to take the middle tower right now. I'm trying to keep Alucard alive. Like, we're getting hit by Lord. I'm, I try to put myself in Lord's um, swing so I'm the one who gets hit by him because I can just heal myself right back up instantly, which basically is all that happens every time they keep calling Lord throughout this entire game. So they're pushing up one more time now. Um, they took out Yi Sun Shin too quick. I don't know why he keeps just jumping in first. That's Freya's job to jump in first, but... I'm able to keep the rest of the team alive. I'm healing Freya. Like, the thing is, like, everyone just... When people start getting hit, they start getting nervous and start getting scared. Not realizing that you have... I have your back. Like, they, they knew I had their backs, but they were still scared to die. Like, if they would have... A lot of these situations, if they would have just kept pushing, kept attacking the other team, they would have pretty much been able to kill... Secure a lot more kills than, than has been secured. But let's actually take a look at what the... um kills are looking like right now oh it looks like we're engaging again oh they're trying to die freya i don't know why she was trying to die freya like i wasn't about to keep freya alive <clears throat> there was literally nothing that they could do to freya with me right there and now they're trying to go for a farsa so i'm i'm keeping her alive i'm putting all my attention on her and now i know that she's clear of any danger i went back to help my team out I'm sticking with my team. I don't know when they're about to engage or anything. Did I just use my ultimate? I think I might just... No, I just used the heal. I just used the regular heal. I was going to say, did I just use an ultimate on myself? I, I did that. <clears throat> but nah, I'm using regular heals on myself right now. So that way they can't just dive me and take me out um, quickly. And now they're engaging, so I'm popping my ultimate. I'm popping my ultimate, but then they, they froze me again. So I couldn't um, make it more powerful than everything. But... Yeah, now we're pushing up. We're pushing up. I'm keeping them alive. <clears throat> there I go again, trying to heal the Alucard. He, like, they keep separating from each other. So I had to make a decision. Am I going to follow the Alucard? And I'm like, nah, I'm going to follow the Yi Sun Shin. He's actually pushing up aggressively. He's pushing up, and I can keep him alive. I saw that there was only one person alive. And when, and when it came down to me and Yi Sun Shin, I knew Yi Sun Shin could easily take her if I just heal him. Like, this is an Aurora. I, he said I could easily take an Aurora. So, yeah, we, we were good. So, I, I was just... And then the Farsa came up, and now she starts zoning. She starts getting her very low, too. And now I'm taking the damage. I I saw him jump out. I'm taking the damage now. I know I can handle taking the damage. So, I just... I'm about to hit my ultimate, I think. No, I didn't. I, I, I already did or something. But, um, yeah, I was taking the damage because I knew I could keep healing myself. So, that was a huge play that... that it, it was it was some big. It was a lot of great plays made throughout this game. Um, keeping that um, me taking a hit so my teammates don't take the hit. Also, if I die, it's okay. They're well. I, I mean, it's kind of kind of give or take. I don't know. It, it depends. It depends because the team was really dependent on my healing. But I would have rather die than to let one of them die and to let one of them get injured. So if they were at full health, there's a chance they can kill them. If I'm the one that's left, I can't kill anyone. So, um, yeah, I try to keep them alive as much as possible. Um, I kept healing the team. They, they tried to jump in. The um, enemy kept trying to jump in, go after Lord for some reason. And I just kept healing my team, and they, my team kept destroying them.
Like, it's really not even close. And at this point in time, we're 3, 1, and 23. We're 3, 1, and 23. So I got two more kills. Picked up two more kills throughout that um, throughout that time. And, yeah, which is really going crazy. It's really not much that they can do to stop us. The hills are too strong at this point in time. Like, at this point, I'm level 15. We're fed. And also, this is the full build. If you want to know the full build that I'm using to do this, this is the build right here, and this is the best build for Estes, man. This is the best build for Estes. We have so much, uh, so much tankiness, so much sustainability, and so many hills. Like, the hills is amazing. So, um, make sure you try this build out, and let me know what you think, man. But, yeah, now we're pushing up. I know this is GG's. This is GG's. I'm going to keep my team alive. Someone else just jumped and dove to someone else, but Freya has been going crazy. Freya, Freya just got a quick triple kill. Um, let's see. Yeah, and then we, we secured that kill. And then that's that's GG's at this point. That's GG's. So um that was the game, man. Let me know what you all think of the gameplay. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Drop that thumbs up. Let's actually see um Let's see the the scoreboard here. Alright, man. So we're at the scoreboard right now, and as you can see. My team pretty much have stats that, that looks like who we probably should have lost the game, which we probably should have. The other team, like it, it was they, they were playing they were playing decent together. But um it was just like they, they couldn't really do much. They couldn't do much because of the hills. The hills was crazy. The hills was absolutely insane. Um I was three one and twenty six. You can see my team. I, I kept I kept my team up the majority of the time. Um, I took a lot of damage as well. Um, Alucard just kept diving in, just getting hit. They actually put out a lot of damage. Like, my team just kept diving diving out into damage. Like, I, I don't know why they kept making those decisions. But um, I did what I could, and, and we got the win. So, yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to catch you all on the next one. Peace out, family. Life gets so much better than it is right now We going so high up, we never will fall down Told him I'ma make it where I'm from is dangerous Niggas get a all just to make it out Gotta do it for my family These haters wanna see the end of me But really I'm who they pretend to be I gotta make it for my family